Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Jams. Welcome to episode 3 of KMA's Jams, which is just another Minecraft series. As you see, something's a little different. The webcam angle is in a different place. I didn't think it was right to be staring at the side of my face while I do this, and I figured you can stare at the front of my face, even though it's really unshaved right now, but I'm lazy. So, um, hope you like it. The only problem with this is that you get the reflection of what's on my screen on the computer, and you can't see my eyes. You can see the screen on the computer, but, um, I don't know, small sacrifices. So, we are at my blaze farm that I had made the other day, and I need to make this room look better. And, a little clue to which day of the year I am recording this. You see this little buddy behind me? Yes. A little baby. Oh. Yes, it's Halloween. Today is Halloween. So we got pumpkin heads on some mobs only in this first clip because I'm not recording this whole video on Halloween. But happy Halloween there for you. Don't go scaring too many people tonight. So <laughs> enough of the nonsense. Hello good guy. Yeah 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 yeah. Um I'm trying a different designs. I'm having trouble with this wall. Big time trouble. Um, I thought it would be nice to have a striped wall and then I realized it wasn't looking too good so I'm trying to think of a different way of doing the stripes. So I got a whole bunch of snow, a whole bunch of packed ice, and I'm thinking of um, as I almost hit the baby thing in the head. I'm thinking of a new... Would you hey man, what? Oh, I, let me save you. Oh. I guess with the pumpkin head on, <laughs> he's taller than one block. And he just didn't realize it. Okay. So, um, I was just throwing down some stuff because this has been really bugging me that I haven't... Do I have any more of this? I do a little bit. I haven't f figured out what I want to do with these walls. And I've been trying different things, as you can see. And nothing really been working. Let me go kill this guy real quick. And this guy. Or was that the only guy? Oh, he just moved on me by the time I got over there. When you kill those things around this blaze farm, it aggravates the things in the... What? 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 I'm trying to work here, buddies. Sons of bitches. See, th that's what happens. These guys all go mental and they start not behaving properly inside the thing. So, if you have a blaze farm, try not to kill them. I'm looking over there for the camp. If you have a blaze farm, <laughs> try not to kill blazes outside the farm because it just aggravates them inside the farm. So, yes, back to what I was saying. Uh, fixing this up to make it look better. I'm gonna go do this design all the way to the top, maybe? I don't know. We got the nether rock, diorite, snow, that, snow, diorite, then back to that. So do we go back to dire? I just wanna check this out. I don't know if this is gonna stick, if I'm gonna continue doing this, but I need to do something with this design um, because it hasn't been working. I haven't been feeling it. Not at all. And I don't like not feeling design. I'm like, usually you put something up and you go, ah, well, it sucks. Or, ah, well, it's okay, but I'm going to keep it, I guess, for now and maybe change it for the future. But for this, I'm just like, blah. I don't know. 
nothing, no ideas are coming to my head. Nothing is really, just, I don't know. It's just, striped walls. I'm not a big fan of striped walls. So why am I doing striped? I was actually thinking of doing something outrageous here. Well, not outrageous, but a different. Um, see, and here's another problem. I'm gonna come over, put a nether rock here, then diorite, then it would be snow, then that. So, do I continue the design pattern? It would be nice to have a design that makes it all the way to this wall. Let's see. Um, let me try and get it so you understand what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> so I know I did not explain myself properly right there. So let me throw a couple more of these in here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, I don't like having blank spaces behind stuff. I know when you watch YouTubers and they like terraform an area and they add grass to the top of an area. And then they just like leave a hole and just put grass on the top layer. I like to fill in that whole hole, unless it's incomprehensibly huge or something. Um, <clears throat> so I got two sets of complete designs here, except for it doesn't go all the way to the edge of this wall. I have two extra spaces. So what I could do is add another set up somehow but that is better than what I've been working on which is this catastrophe right here I was and maybe I should still do this I was gonna have lava basically my initial design here was the netherrack the diorite then lava then diorite then netherrack then lava then you know and repeat um, but I also came up with this problem where the design leaves two extras I could make this room a little shorter and have it stop here and make this the edge of the wall I don't know that is something I'm gonna have to work on and uh, when I record the next clip, I will show you what it is. But as you see, <clears throat> I've put half slabs down here, so nothing will spawn. And I also filled in the wall all the way to the top here. Well, I got the diorite up to a certain level, and I might, I don't know. Then uh, above, I got the nether rack going to the ceiling. And, um,. Back here, I put another layer of half slabs here. And I was thinking of putting, at least behind the glass, snow back here. Because when you're up, let me fill in this area. Where is my diorite? Excuse, I will be upset if I leave that open. So, no leaving that open. But if we go up here, if there's nothing... Huh. Every time I come up here, I gotta kill something. I guess which is good. Oh, you got me? Run away! Come here! Thank you. At least he didn't have a pumpkin head on. <laughs> Will you stop it? You can't see me. I know you can't. I said you can't see me. Mm. But you know when you're standing here making things spawn... <clears throat> You can see the nether rack back here. So I was gonna cover this wall all with snow and the ceiling to brighten it up back there because the nether is kind of dark. But I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I had an. How can I explain this? I'm gonna go on top again real quick and show you kind of explain what I was thinking with uh, another way of doing this it's kind of weird yeah 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 uh, 
Um, you see how this is a bowl? <laughs> I was thinking of making a... In, um, rotating this 90 degrees and putting it, putting it in the wall. So I'd have a row of... A square of... Um, diorite. Then it would go in two blocks and I'd have a square of packed ice or something. Then go in two blocks and have a square of diorite again. And go in two blocks and have the packed ice doing the nine square and in the center stick in a gold block kind of constituting what it looks like when you look down at the blazes on the bottom here but I don't know how big is this thing I forget already one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that should be eleven shouldn't it oh no 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 the glass goes out. Okay, so one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let me just see um, <clears throat> what would happen here. So if this is four, five, six, six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. See that wouldn't fit either. I could make a bigger one, fifteen then keep going smaller and each one going in a couple of blocks I think I might do that <clears throat> then just put another rock above it I don't know it's a really weird idea and it's one of those things that I could spend a lot of time working on and it might backfire but I think that's what I'm gonna do now, let me hope this works um, can I get the snow back with silk touch No. Okay. Well, that's why I got a snow golem up top. So, I will work on that, and I will be back. Hopefully it looks really good, and not really quirky. But happy Halloween, guys. I know you're going to see this a couple of days after Halloween, but I hope nothing kills you tonight. Alright, guys. <laughs> I'm looking over there again for the webcam. Um, I am back. I've done some work. And this is the entrance to the place. Um, looks pretty normal. Pressure plate, which kind of sticks out. But I didn't want the doorway to really be seen. So let's go check out what I've done for the design for the blaze farm. So step on this, opens this door, and it lets us get back here. <clears throat> it's just a simple 1x2 piston thing. We just throw a couple of, like a T line of redstone underneath here. Stick a couple of sticky pistons above it with some blocks. Yeah, well, you can figure it out. It's pretty basic redstone. <clears throat> I guess I should replace that. I do have lava going down there. I ended up being part of the design for the blaze farm wall. And I've decided to go with the, the bowl design. That weird design so let's see that is what I'm talking about the bowl design kind of a mirror image of what's in there but I decided to use you know snow diorite packed ice some quartz in the center and I've done it to every single wall except for there's a hole here which is the way to get out and I can't fall down there so that's fine I might make a fence around here to fix that but then there's one over here, uh, there's one there, there's one there. I was going to do one on the floor here, but I wanted the floor half slab so to minimize uh, the spawns. I don't want pigmen and stuff spawning down there because sometimes pigmen spawn in here and if these guys get riled up and they hit a pigmen with a uh, fire charge, the pigmen are mad at me and... Because of that, I have died two more times <laughs> building this. I also made the design up on the ceiling. Um, but I ended it when it hit this, and it looks kind of weird, so I don't know if I'm going to keep the ceiling one. But overall, right now, I am. And I realized last um, clip that these walls were 15s and these walls were 17. So with the extra two, I decided to put 
the lava streaming down in the corners so I could kind of brighten up the place, give it an eerie feeling. But it's still missing something on this wall. Something's going to have to happen with this wall. <clears throat> I did put the snow on the back of this. And I do have the wall of um, nether brick here, which I think I'm going to get rid of and replace with snow just at least the lowest level so I don't have that line through the center of here. I don't know. There's a couple of tweaks I still have to do with this. But I did make a, um, a video which I was going to speed up and put in this video of me just sitting here with the blaze just forming and falling down. Um, and I recorded for 15 minutes and I was going to just speed it up and put some music on. But I realized that the blaze don't spawn um, fast enough to really make the footage any fun and it was really boring. So I decided I am not going to add that little footage here. Because I was going to uh, come down here with zero experience levels and just show you what how long it takes to get 30 levels but other people have done it I started doing it started doing it and it was really boring so I decided to not even finish that um, so I'm gonna delete that footage it's actually in my Sony Vegas right now so um, basic explanation you stand here somewhere up here and you will get the blaze farm uh, spinning ready to make blazes if you stand down there you're not close enough to this um, so you stand here wait for the blazes to do their thing and go down to the bottom there's a pressure plate on this side opens up the door and then we just go down the stairs here those aren't stairs those are actually ladders Keith yes ladders ladders I do know the difference between stairs and ladders. And at the beginning of the episode, I don't know the name of my show, too. I called it KMA's Welcome to KMA's Jams. You know, Keith, from, uh, doesn't even matter. I introduced this video all wrong, so you may have noticed that. Sorry about that. Another one of those two-by-one doors to get yourself in here. And it's right next to the lava, which is kind of intimidating. I'm always afraid to get myself burnt. But... You know, I'll get over it. I'm a big boy. <laughs> Just don't walk into the lava. So yeah, you see there's a pigment stuck in there right now. So right now, if I were to go over here, close this off, and hit that, pigment, uh, angry with me. So that's why I wanted this room closed off. I didn't want pigment sneaking in here to attack me. And then I can just go like this, kill everything, and open that up, let the things come back down. And then I can enchant my stuff here. And of course, underneath the enchanted table is a, a glowstone. I haven't put any bottles or anything in there. I did have um, brewing stands down here. But I decided to take them away because I don't have any running water in the nether and there's no sense I'm going to see brewing stands and go, oh, I'd like to brew something up and go, oh, I need water. And it's just not really worth it just yet. So this is the farm. I hope you like the design. Let me know. It's a little weird. And um, <clears throat> I've got to figure out something to do over here. I was thinking of maybe doing another lava drop over on this side just to make things look uh, brighter on this side because I do get pigmen spawning on the edges here. And I've noticed, uh, I don't know if you noticed, I said initially I was going to do the, a gold block in each one. One, I don't have enough gold to do that. <laughs> Two, I think light needed to be entered into this place so um, we use glowstone instead. But um, I think it looks pretty good um, for something strange. It's not like wacky strange, like, oh my god, how fucked up is that? It's just a little out of normalcy, I guess. Um, I do hope you like that. Let me just show you one thing before I go for today's video. And you can tell me what you think. Um, 
I'm not 100% sure if it's close enough, but <clears throat> let me show you and you can give me an idea. I can figure it out on my own if I wanted to. It's not that big a deal, but now let me get my sword already because I get attacked down here a lot. Okay, so here is the the blaze farm that I just finished off and the interesting thing is um, I think it's up here right here is another uh, you can see the smoke particles of the blaze let me just get rid of this see there's another blaze spawner um, where are where will this be so this will be 44 45 46 47 147 on the Z cord let's see how close that is to this we got what two in here one two I think three plus nine no, 3 plus 5, 8. So 171. So that is within 16 blocks of the other one. So I could actually do a dual blaze spawner. I think I can get both of those going at the same time. So here are the questions that uh, pops up in my head when I think about that one that would be really cool to do a dual blaze spawner two hello sir you scared the hell out of me do I need a dual blaze spawner this is a single player world um, I got enough blaze rods to last me the rest of my playing <laughs> I don't really need any more blaze rods I got plenty of experience now, especially seeing I've died a couple times, and I'm still up near 3540. So, do I want to do the second place farm? It would be a nice project to do, but right now, I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to just keep it as this one, and, and maybe in the future, if I decide, I will change it up and make the second. But right now, it's not a high priority. I'm still kind of getting from survival mode to collecting mode a little bit better. Um, so I think I'm going to not do the blaze farm, the second blaze farm for a while. But it's there. It's an option. So it's something that you can look forward to in the future. But I think um, I'm going to call it a day because we are done. We are done. Oh, I'm back to wearing gold chest plates again. I'm slowly getting myself working on my boots, but I got awesome boots. I got the Protection 4, Death Strider, and the Feather Falmer 4 with Unbreaking on them. Can't really get much better than that other than the uh, Protection should be just plain old Protection instead of Fire Protection. Is that what I had? Yeah. But I'll, I'll take Fire Protection. I'll take it. I'll take it. So... I hope you enjoy this work on the Blaze Farm. We can move on to other projects now. What they are, I do not know. But give me an idea. You can tell me in the comments below. And I will think about working on that project. But it's going to be someplace out of the nether because after, you know, spending the time that I've spent in the nether, I don't want to spend any more time in the nether. No, no, no. I still hate the nether. So. We'll do some farming project or something next time. Maybe we'll make the slime farm look better or whatever. Expand it to be bigger or something strange like that. But I gotta go. This is Keith for KMA's Corner. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in a few days. Goodbye.